October has officially begun. Y'all know about it. The titles are all over the place. October, Bitcoin monthly returns chart. Many, most of previous Octobers have been green. But what does it actually mean in context to where we are at this moment in the cycle? I'm going to zoom out on the Bitcoin charts and we're actually going to look at previous Octobers, green and red Octobers, and talk about the importance of where we are at this moment in this October. 2024. We're also going to go over a quick important reminder on the Bitcoin monthly, and we're definitely going to look at short-term price analysis on Bitcoin on the, on the daily chart because there's a lot to watch for in terms of support and yeah, potential breakout to the upside. So please hit the subscribe, hit the like on the way in, and let's jump into it. Let's start here though for just a moment. Shout out to September. Bitcoin had its best ever price performance in September. You can see 7.29%. And historically, it doesn't look like September has been the best month, but September playing out to be a really good month. And more importantly, shout out to my son born in September yesterday, Isaiah Daniel Gambardello. Thank you, everybody. I, ha I got so many con comments and they were such a blessing and really big encouragement to me. So thank you so much, everybody that commented about this, but I thought this verse was awesome for Isaiah. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. That's my prayer for my little buddy, Isaiah. So thanks for all the comments, everybody. Shout out to Isaiah, September 30th. And here we are, we're in October now. Here's the quick reminder on the October or on the Bitcoin monthly chart as we start October. Nothing crazy, but just a reminder, just a warning. Bitcoin on this chart has not yet been overbought. And I think we get a similar illustration on the weekly. This isn't the first time I'm mentioning this, but I really, as we start, we're really going to kind of start zooming in throughout this, the, the video. Zoom out. That is just so important. As I do technical analysis for me to remember, zoom out. Because things can get dicey on the short term, but on the long term, I think, especially even this cycle, is looking very good compared to previous cycles where we get these bull runs, right? Post Bitcoin having has not happened yet. And I just really want to mention that. So let's, let's do this. I want to look at kind of this chart, October, previous Octobers. And I even added one. I think I put 2012 on the chart because I want to discuss something. But here, look at all these green Octobers. What does it actually look like on the, on the zoomed out? And I use the weekly because there's actually... A, a really strong main point I wanted to make as it relates to this. And that is, we can look at a monthly candle and see a green candle if it's a green month or a red candle if it's a red month. But what does that consist of, right? So if we just go look at last cycle, and, and by the way, the, the green rectangles are, are basically giving me an idea on the chart where October is, but October is right within it. So green candle, green candle, green candle. But I want to point out, October 2023, look at that first weekly candle, red. And as we dig into the, the short-term analysis on the daily, we are very much actually going to discuss that red candle. So this is really interesting as we're entering October now, a year later, what's happening here on the short term, absolutely critical to what's happening here. So that's, that's actually coincidence, I would say. And then we go back, right? Let's, let's continue going back a little bit. Here's October uh, back here in 2022. And you can see, nice green. But even the first week of that October, look how dicey that was. And, and what I mean by that is you can see from the upper end of that candle, it's a red candle to the lower end. We're looking at like an 8%, 8 to 9% margin, a pretty volatile week for, for Bitcoin. What if we have a week like that this week? What if we have a dip of 8% this week? Does that mean it's game over for October or October? And then we go back and we look at this October. And this was kind of towards the top of, the of that last bull market. And you can see we had some really nice, powerful green candles there. We had one red candle in there. So notice a theme here. There are red candles on the weekly within these, within these Octobers. What I wanted to point out, if we kind of keep going back, here's, here's Bitcoin last cycle. Also, notice right before this purple line, really strong October. Where are we right now? We're getting ready to kind of prepare to approach that purple line. For me, that's just context for where altcoin season is on these charts. So that 2020 
October, and we know Bitcoin having October's really kind of nice areas, right? And here, here's even if, we, if I go back and I look at 2016 having, here's that October, just getting ready. So we're in that very similar area. But what I want to point out is what about the red Octobers? We have a red October here, and this was 2018. And then we have a red October back here, and this was uh, 2014. You can see red October, choppy, but red. What's up with that? One thing that I think is incredibly important, and it even kind of plays into what I mentioned on the monthly, where we are in the cycle. What has not happened yet post-Bitcoin having it, it, that same type of feel. We go to the weekly. Where was Bitcoin on this chart? Right here and right here. Bitcoin was right in between the Bitcoin halvings. Bitcoin was right in the middle of the bear market in these red Octobers. And I'm not saying a red October is not possible. To, it can't happen if we're, we're getting ready to kind of just enter this typical parabolic bull season. And red Octobers can only happen in the middle of the bear markets. I'm not saying that. But historically, that is when they've happened. I did want to bring up this. September or October 2012. This isn't on this Bitcoin monthly return chart that we all see so often. But I did want to bring it up. Because it was a red October and it was actually going into having. But what I thought was kind of an interesting dynamic is this was before or right around that first Bitcoin having. So we, we, we kind of entered this new season, this new phase, this new era of Bitcoin cycles back there, right? So, and now we even have the narrative of, of, October being October. And I don't know if that's helpful or not at this point, especially this. This is the first cycle I've ever seen so many people talking about October being green. And that could be a, that could be a concern. Uh, and, I, and I really wouldn't be surprised if we actually ended red. However, the data is what it is. It's very consistent for green Octobers. But what needs to happen? We're going to dig into the daily and discuss. The obvious thing on the weekly before we go to the daily, we are above that 20 week. And currently, and this is probably why October is also so important, we would really need to see an October uh, candle closing green, it would at least be helpful, closing green, that sixty-five dollars to $66,000 area, uh, because it would allow Bitcoin to close above the 20-week. And that is such a crucial area. But I digress from that. And I say, even if it fails... Remember, October last year, Bitcoin failing for that week of October, that red candle failing, not only a red candle in October, kind of towards the beginning of October, but failing to break above the 20 week. So if we fail in the short term, let's, at least for me, I'm going to see how things play out because look what happened next, the rest of October. Bitcoin went crazy to escape that entire area and broke out. And considering where we are in this cycle, considering where we are, if we go back and we look at something like the RSI, just so consolidated and reset, breaking above that yellow moving average on the slower moving momentum oscillator, breaking out of just the lower, the upper trend line uh, trend, right? Breaking out of that, all of these things lining up, I think it's a good idea to really watch closely what Bitcoin does next. At the 20 week, obviously, but even just kind of in this higher low area of consolidation between the 50 in blue and the 20 week, if it happens, if Bitcoin falls on the short term. And notice that's kind of where Bitcoin saw support back here between the 20 and the 50. So a good area to watch for. But on the, on the Bitcoin daily chart, here's where things become kind of volatile. And, and this is really what we're going to watch for. And again, last October gives us a really good idea on the short term of what to watch for and what bullish confirmation might look like. So here's where we are. We have the 20-day, and this is really helpful for short-term analysis. We have the 20-day crossing above the 50. We've so far failed to see support above the 200. Obviously, we broke above it. It was great to see. Right now, this is just a lower high on this chart. It's looking, it's looking, I don't want to use the word concerning, but Bitcoin could be on its way down to the lower trend line again. This story might repeat. 
That has been the story for the last half of year, half a year. But what can we look for? Well, right now, and this is where last October comes into play. We have the 20 crossing above the 50. We have uh, the Bitcoin weekly momentum oscillator. I, I really want to mention this, and I'm sorry to just keep re-echoing this, but it has cooled down a lot, and there have been key changes on this oscillator throughout the last half year, right? So we're not where we were right here. The upper tr the, this lower high is different than this lower high. I just want to say that. But going back to the daily, what we're looking for, what I'm watching, is now that we have the 20 crossing above 50, can we see support there? This higher low support for continuation. And maybe this is what October looks like. Some pain, we're in the $61,000 area. People are like, October, October's over, it's done. And then all of a sudden, the rest of October, we get the bounce. And if we look at last October, this is where things are kind of cool. And this is a lot of speculation. But that's what happened. Bitcoin broke uh, above even the 200 the 20 crossed above the 50 and then it consolidated back between the 20 and the 50 just such a nice move this is something to anticipate on any crypto chart the throwback to that area after we're getting the 20 crossing above the 50 i talk about that and then boom the support so the question is if bitcoin does fall will we see support short-term dip is not a problem will we see support if not my failsafe of support would be this, uh, this Fibonacci down here. And that is very simply the swing low to swing high. That green area, the 618 to 786. It's around 55000 I know it sounds scary. <laughs> to $58,000 right around that region. And that's what I'd be watching for, for that kind of failsafe support. Uh, if Bitcoin is going to consolidate even more before heading higher. And yes, I haven't even mentioned the lower trend line because I just don't even feel like thinking about it. But it's there, if we're going to be real. It's there. So uh, let's see how October plays out, though. All that to say, we, we might just get a breakout. We might just get a breakout to the upside. Notice this area. I, I wanted to mention this. Insane confluence at this 20-day moving average. You know what else is right around the 20-day moving average? If we go to the weekly and zoom in, the 20-week moving average. Look at that. 62.7, 62.8. And then here on the daily, right around 62.7, like 62.6 to 62.7. Ton of confluent support, a really big area of support to watch for. Let's see if it holds or not, uh, especially on the weekly. Let's see how this candle closes. It could be a volatile week. So these are my thoughts on October. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, everybody. Zoom out. For me, that's probably the name of the game, the important thing to do. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Please hit that like. I will see you in the next video. God bless.